and welcome to the Life Waves Practice. My name is Sarah Bainbridge and I'm passionate about helping you achieve total well-being in our modern world. So in this series of videos we're going to be looking at setting health goals, ambitions or resolutions. So maybe in the past you've set a health resolution at the beginning of the year or had a goal in mind for your health but found that even though you've had such good intentions about it when you set that goal, that a few weeks later or a few months later, things aren't progressing as well as you'd hoped, you're not making the progress that you'd hoped, or maybe life had just got in the way and your goal had gone by the wayside. And that can leave you disheartened and frustrated. So in the next three videos, we're going to be looking at the top three mistakes people make when setting goals for their health and what you can do about it to make sure that you don't make those same mistakes. So the first mistake that we're going to be having a look at today is being clear about your goal. Now I know you probably sat there saying, but I am clear about my goal. I know what it is that I want to achieve. But I'm talking about being really clear, really feeling that goal, really knowing what it is. So for instance, you might have set a goal that says, I want to live more healthily. And you might have put a little bit more detail in this. I want to eat healthily. I want to take more exercise. I want to make healthier choices in my life. But even a goal like that is still open to interpretation a little bit. So exactly what does healthy mean? And it'll mean something different to you as it does to everybody else. How do you know when you've achieved that healthy life? How will you know when you've got there? What will be different? So you can see how by a little bit of ambiguity there in the goal, it can become easy to lose track of it, to not really make that progress. So what I want you to do is to really look into the goal that you want to make. So I want you to really, really think about it. So what is it going to be like when you've achieved that goal? What does achievement look like to you? How are you going to look? How are you going to feel? What are you going to be able to do then that you can't do now? What are you going to be able to stop doing then that you're currently having to do now? How are you going to react to the people around you? How are the people around you going to react with you? Maybe you'll look different. Maybe you'll be somewhere different because of achieving that goal. So can you see how much more detail you're going into and how much more real that goal will become to you? And that's how you're going to be able to achieve it. So if you're good at visualisation, really paint a vivid picture of that goal. Imagine it in your mind. Make the colours really bright. Make it really, really real to you. But if you're not good at visualisation, don't worry. This will work just the same. Often if you write down the um, answers to those questions that I've just been talking about, that can help too. So what I want you to do today Take five minutes out of your day, sit down and focus on that goal that you're wanting to make, that resolution that you're wanting to make with regards to your health. Go through those things that we've thought about or talked about, should I say. Really, really think about how it's going to feel, what you're going to be able to do, what it's going to look like when you've achieved the outcome that you're wanting. Once you've got that in your mind, write it down. Writing things down is always so much more powerful than just keeping it in your mind. Not only does it give it more energy, but it means that you can look at it often to remind yourself and it helps you to stay on track. And best of all, when you've achieved that goal, you can look back and see how much progress you've made. How good is that? So make sure you take that time today, sit down and consider your goal in those terms. And we'll meet tomorrow and talk about the second biggest mistake that people make when setting their goals. Okay, bye for now.